This is Gretchen, the Verdant Crafter, and today is my first episode in my 2018 tag series. These are out, your out of this world tags. So these are all space themed. I cut a whole bunch of tags from Nina Classic Crest 110 pound cardstock with the Sizzix Framelits tag collection, the second largest size. Now I'm using a whole bunch of Distress Oxide inks. So fossilized amber, spiced marmalade, picked raspberry, cracked pistachio, broken china, and wilted violet. I'm putting those over the background, sometimes randomly, sometimes in a pattern. I'm going to dry all of those, and then I'm going to go over it with my black soot distress oxide very lightly. So this series was inspired by my senior physics students. They came in one day and they were all rip roaring to do Valentine's Day. And I thought that was pretty sweet. They were talking about how they did it as grade schoolers. They were telling our foreign exchange students what it was like and what they did. So I told them we could do that, but they needed to come in with a plan. So they needed to come in with something written up that explained what was happening and how they were doing it. And then I didn't push it. So this was on probably a Thursday. So I didn't see them again until Monday. And the student who was sort of in charge of this didn't follow through, but I had expected they would. So I decided to make a whole bunch of tags for my students um, with different sayings or expressions or whatever on them and fill little bags with candy and give them to them. So since they didn't follow through, I'm probably not doing that for my students. But what I did do was actually we hit the end of first semester. So to a lot of the teachers and support staff, the people that I work with every day or see every day, I gave them all one of these tags or one of the other tags I made filled with candy and I wrote a nice message on it. Basically, thank you for being so supportive and amazing. Thank you for welcoming me to the school and yay, we made it. So these are all of the tags that I made. You can see all of the different colors. I was pretty heavy handed and then I'm just going to cover them with black soot. Here are all the tags laid out and I'm spraying them from above with my distress sprayer. So I'm pulling it back about halfway. This creates those large blobs instead of just a fine mist. The distress sprayer is great for doing things like this. It's also great if you do sewing and you do piecework, you need to take the paper off from piecework. So my mom used it when she was visiting me and she loved it. So now she has one. Now I'm using Copic Opaque White to splatter over it. So right now we have some faint splatters with the Distress Oxide. We're gonna add some more bright white splatters with the Copic Opaque White. And finally, we're gonna add some shimmery splatters with Gonzai Tombi Starry Night, their white gold color. The white gold is going to end up picking up some of the color from the background, so it will have some sort of shade rather than being white, but it's very pretty. So here you can see, um, I'm pulling out my Gonzai Tombi color. This might have been from the colored collection and just be in the wrong box, but it is the white, so I'm just going to flick it on. I do like to put my paint onto an acrylic block and flick off it. I do think I have more control that way and make sure if you want to have very fine drops that you use a very fine bristled brush. If you have um, a thicker end, so such as a six or an eight round brush, you're gonna have bigger splatters. So here I'm using the Hero Arts um, Astronomical Set and Dream Big Set. These have great sayings like, you're out of this world, there's always space in my heart for you, dream big, your kindness reaches above and beyond, you're the best in the universe, you are astronomical. Um, I thought these were great. So I really use the sentiments, you, you are the best in the universe, you are astronomical, and you are out of this world. Keeping in mind, I thought I was giving these to students. So here I'm just laying out my different images on my Misty. I'm gonna close my door and then I'm going to treat my stamped image with anti-static powder tool. So I did 
things sort of out of order because I was working on multiple things at the same time. So I'm going to show you stamping it, treating it with anti-static powder tool, and treating it with Versa, um, stamping with VersaFine VersaMark ink. I'm not going to show you white heat embossing. So when I did the white heat embossing, I did two layers for each of them with the Wow Opaque Bright White embossing powder, except for one which I used silver embossing powder on. And I did two layers so that it really puffed up more and it was very evident. Here I'm backing each of the tags with another tag, partially, well actually mostly because all of them got a little inky on the back and I didn't really want to show that when I was writing my message. So I'm just using some glue. I'm putting it around. I'm making sure that it's around the edges and around the hole. I'm lining it up and I'm actually sticking it under my mat so it dries flat. Here are the bags that I use. So these are Wilton shaped party bags. Um, there's a hundred in the pack and they all come with their very own twist tie. So I filled these with different candy and I specifically decided to do a space theme because, oh, here is my Wink of Stella white. So I went over some of the images like the moons with the white to add a little bit more shading and depth. I love that it goes on clear but dries white. So these are flying saucers. These are Belgian candy and my hand was so gracefully covering up the store that I bought these from. It was just it's literally just a local store that's down the road for me. So I'm going to add a handful of these little flying saucers. And if you're wondering what they're like, it's basically like you have two colored communion wafers that are sandwiched and inside you have a bunch of small pieces of candy. So they shake and rattle and roll. I had a friend when I gave her the bag say, oh, church candy, which made me laugh. I'm going to use some silver ribbon to, well, I'm going to loop that through the hole and then I'm going to tie it on my bag. So you could just loop it on and then use the twist tie to attach it. You could, instead of using a twist tie, um, just close the bag with the twist tie. Here I cut my ribbon too short, so I'm fighting with it. Silly me. This was a really fun series to do. I love that I had lots of different tags. They all have the same theme. Space, you know, you're amazing, you're astronomical, you're the best in the universe, you are out of this world. They're all very sweet and fun and spacey, which is nice as a science teacher. Um, I have a whole bunch of these left. I think I made 13 or 14 tags. I certainly ran out of candy. So at some point you're going to see that I have red gummy hearts as well. Soon you're also going to see that I'm going to edit the video that I made using Altenew's Ninja Invasion. I think that's what the stamp set is called um, to create a bunch of tags. And I also did one this one was a big hit with coffee flavored stamps, actually from Simon's a stamp and gave some of my coworkers chocolate covered mocha beans. They really loved those. So these are a close up of some of my tags as well as the bags of candy that went with them. These are super simple to make, but I think they're incredibly powerful, both as <laughs> I don't know what that was. Something nice to give to someone else, but also because there's a lot of bang for your buck when you do this, both giving it to someone else and just doing it for yourself. You get to do all kinds of ink blending. You get to do splattering. You get to make all kinds of fun things. Thank you for watching. I hope that you were inspired. I hope that you got some great ideas. I hope that you have a great day. This is Gretchen signing off. Thank you. Bye.